top five squonkers of 2018. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Big Mick here, back with another video. Today we are looking at the best squonkers of 2018. Uh, in my previous video, the best RDAs of 2018, I sort of announced what my plans were for the 2018 best ofs, and you guys were like, "You've got to do squonkers. Where's the top five squonkers?" So okay, fine, I'll do the, I'll do the squonkers right now. Uh, no problem at all. I suppose it has been the year of squonking, so uh, it would be silly not to do a best squonkers of 2018. Let's get cracked into it. Here's first one. One. Okay, number one. Not number one, as I've already said, it's a top five. It's not in any particular order. But number one, I don't think there'll be any squonking lists compiled this year without this squonker. Uh, the top side, the top side squonker from Dovpo and TVC, the Vapor Chronicles. Um, it's a very good squonker, it's a very good squonker, it ticks a lot of boxes from a squonking point of view. Uses the new batteries, 21700 and all that, it's regulated uh, with a very good, very efficient board. And uh, it ticks a lot of boxes in that regard, nice big squonk bottle, tick, 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 etc. But the one thing it's done, and it has moved things forward a little bit, it has created and was the first squonker this year to have top fill, a top filling squonker. So the idea being, it basically just makes it easier to uh, to fill up your juice bottle. I suppose you could say that is one slight n negative of squonking that you have to get your bottle out and fill it or use a, a filling tool to fill it. Uh, now all you need to do is take this cap off and chuck your juice down this hole. Um, it's a very, very good squonker in a lot of ways, this squonker. Um, I ac actually didn't actually get around to reviewing it. Um, I picked up mine at Expo, uh, the return, but, uh, you know, I was just a bit late to the party and uh, everything else got on top of me and I never actually got around to reviewing this squonker. It's a very good squonker in many, many ways, but the main thing for me is this, the top fill is the reason it makes this list. Um, it's a very, very, it's a very, very good idea. And it'll be interesting to see how this idea evolves. You know, don't forget when the first ever sub tank came out, we used to take it upside down and fill it. You know, so uh, you know th this will move, this will progress, this will uh, this will develop, and it'd be very interesting to see how much easier top filling can go over time. This is definitely one of the squonkers of the year, um, and the top fill is a great idea. It's really moving things forward. So very very good, the top side squonker. Two. Next one I want to do is uh, is a high end item. The high end uh, squonk scene is massive. It's brilliant. There's loads of amazing mods, and I've had loads of amazing mods. Scott Bonner's mods, Mike Dacus's mods, uh, Nigel SVB, uh, the lit Ryan Daw. The list is endless of amazing, amazing high end squonkers on the market at at the moment. Uh, but the one standout, again for innovation, the one standout for me that I received and used a lot this year is this, the Clicker by Chris Scott Mods. It's absolutely tiny, stab wood doors, lovely mod maker parts throughout, Squonk Bottle 510, all that brilliant stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little Delrin. So many people are using like metal, wood, plastic, whatever. This is Delrin and stab wood. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful mod. But the one thing with this is the way it fires is so, so clever. The C in Chris Scott mods, the C is the fire button. It's so clever. It's such a clever idea. And the beauty of doing it like that is, unlike a lot of mods, the actual board that's in here, you still have access to that board so you can turn it on and off at the switch. You don't need the five clicks thing, which has come out later in the year. So it's genius. It's not even super expensive. Uh, check it out if, you, if you've not noticed this. I've not seen this this year. The clicker from Chris Scott Mods. Absolutely stunning, stunning and so clever mod. You know, Chris Scott is a genius and he has a hand in a lot of high end he helps a lot of other high end mod makers make their mods as well so a brilliant man and uh, that is a truly stunning stunning mod one of the best three next 
Next one is this. This is the Bassium uh, by my good friend Dean the Vaping Biker. This is not in this list because he's my good friend. Oh no, this is a brilliant, brilliant squonker. This squonker is absolutely all day, every day for me. This is on my right hand all day, every day. The battery life is incredible. It's super comfy. It's got so many good things. The board, very similar to the top side board. A brilliant, brilliant board in here. Super efficient, super simple. I just stick a goon on top of here, fill my juice up, and I'm just happy, happy, happy for a long, long time with this. An absolute workhorse of a mod. It's rock solid, well made. It's, I mean, it's had so much use and it's still as new, really. Very affordable, very well made. Range of colours available. I think it's a truly, truly brilliant mod. It's not special looking or anything weird like that. It's just a very, very well done device. At a time it was badly needed. There was only this and the Rage that were, oh, they were the only dual battery regulated squonk options on the market for quite some time. Uh, and a lot have come up recently now, but at the time this was so, so good, so, so helpful. And I did very much prefer this to the Rage. Comfier in the hand, easier to use, all that good stuff. It also had the cherry on top innovation. This tray, this um, sled, if you like, this bottle sled, it's clever, so, so clever. Just push it in and uh, you're ready to go. You don't have to connect the bottle or anything like that. You just whip it out like that and put it in like that. It also means this mod is going to last me forever because when I run out of the Dove Pearl bottles, I can put whatever bottle I want I like in here. So it's so clever. It's so clever and so well done. Four. Another one that we have featured on the channel, which definitely needs a mention, is the Vicious Ant Spade Squonker. Absolutely, truly stunning, stunning mod. Uh, they've done several versions this year. Uh, I have the 21700 version, and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's just stunning looking, super well made. Um, there's, oh, there's loads of various doors and colors. Uh, it's just an absolutely brilliant mod. It has the Evolve board in as well. So if you want that top, top, top board quality in there with all the decent Vicious Ant components as well, definitely, definitely a squonker to look at. Definitely in my 2018 top five, the Vicious Ant Spade. Five. The next one is another mod that I don't actually have, but I have played with a lot of other people's. I've appreciated a lot of other people's uh, uh, ones of this. Uh, the Hellfire Cobra. The Hellfire Cobra is a truly stunning, stunning mod. Me meticulously machined. Meticulously machined. Again, there's several versions of it as well. Different finishes on the, on the outside. Different colours as well. There's a red one that looks really, really cool. Uh, the black and stainless one is absolutely gorgeous. Super small, super compact. Built like an absolute tank. It's an absolute machining work of art. It really is. It looks immaculate with all your high-end RDAs on top. It's a, it's a truly stunning, stunning squonker. The Hellfire Cobra definitely needs to be in this list. A truly brilliant squonker. really is. So that is it. Let me know what your favourite squonker this year has been. You don't need to put all five. Just put your favourite squonker of 2018 in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you on the next top five video. Cheers.